Hello there. Baofeng Mini UV5R. 5R Mini. Get that. This radio is ruffling a lot of feathers. But you know what? I'm not here to test it. I'm here to show you how to program it. Maybe you're looking at getting one of these because you want to get into ham radio or even backup for emergency communications in case of a disaster. And it has been used by people who have needed help, especially during Hurricane Helene. This did help. No, not this radio, but ham radio and people using something very similar to this. We're going to go over how to program this off the front panel, just like you get it. You're just going to program it right off of here. Then we're also going to use the Bluetooth app that comes from Baofeng. We're also going to program it using Chirp. All of those we're going to program it in two different ways. We're going to program it for simplex operation, which is basically going from radio to another radio. We're also going to show you how to program it to hit a repeater. But what it does is it takes your transmission and then it beams it through the frequencies and the airwaves, thing called a repeater, and then that can then transmit it further. There's a lot of repeaters around the United States. If you look at something like repeater book or even radio reference, you can find local repeaters to your area. There will be links down in the description. I am an Amazon affiliate, so I do earn a small commission, which does help the channel. One of my videos coming up here, so make sure that you uh, like, subscribe, and comment. Make sure you hit that bell because this little guy, he may not make it because I'm actually going to put him through a little torture test. Also test the range on this. So let's get started. Stay tuned. UV-5R Mini. What the f <laughs> Okay, um, hold on. The other antenna just uh, shot across the room here. <laughs> Two antennas that will shoot out at you. Manuel here. It actually looks like it's written in not too bad of English translation. Two earpieces. Cool. One stubby antenna. Two stubbies antennas, two long antennas, cable for possibly charging and programming, maybe two of those, lanyards, belt clip, two belt clips, one radio, one radio, battery, and the other battery. All right. So, <sighs> which one of these should we trash? Let's plug the batteries in and see if they power on. Okay, so I have one of these charged up. Channel mode. We are in channel mode. We get rid of this stuff here. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're just gonna simply program this for what they call a simplex operation. I'm going to program this for the national calling frequency for two meters. Frequency mode. I'm gonna put this in frequency mode. And as you can see, I already have it in 146520, which you can just program or put in here by just going one, right four, off the keypad. Six, five, two, zero. So the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna save this. So I'm gonna hit menu. menu. And I'm gonna scroll down to program channel or program CH, hit okay. I'm going to hit frequency. I'm going to make sure that that is the frequency that I want to say. 46.520000. Okay, so we now got the frequency. The next one is transmit power. Uh, I'm just going to leave it at high, which is what it's set for. Bandwidth, don't really need to worry about that. Receiving CTC SS. No, I don't, we don't need to worry about the CTC SS or the DCS because we're just going simplex, which is simply radio to radio, and we don't need to use those. I'm going to go down here to CHMDF, which is basically what this is going to be displayed as. I want it to be displayed as the name. God, that goes quick. Menu. Go back to that. Okay. Don't need to worry about the lockout offset. We're going to put this, this is under channel memory, CH memory, and I'm going to put this as channel number one. Confirm. So we're going to go back. We're going to hit return, which is the exit button right there. We're going to hit exit again. We're going to put this in channel mode. Channel mode. One. Now we're at channel one, which is 146.520. Now, how do we get to put a name to that? Menu. Menu. Program channel. Now we have the top there, channel name. Hit OK. Now, this is where the fun part comes in. To enter the name, you just basically use the keypad. I already messed that up. Exit deletes it. I'm going to put two 
meter n a t two meter national call okay so let's see if it's saved it 2MNAT. So let me show you guys how to program a repeater off the front panel. So now we're going to program off the front panel that we're going to go to a repeater. Almost the same exact steps. The first thing I'm going to do, frequency mode. put it in the frequency mode. Then I'm going to put in the frequency of the repeater, which for me is going to be one, four, seven, Basically almost the same steps, except we're going to add a little bit. So we're going to hit menu, down to program channel again, frequency, make sure it's on there, 147.225, confirm, and don't really need to change the power, don't really need to change bandwidth. This is where we use the CTCSS tone, which is going to be on the transmit or the TX. Hit OK, and then we have to look it up. And I know that it is 100 hertz. That is the tone that will then open the repeater so that we can talk into it. Go down to 100, and we hit OK. The next part to do the repeater is 13, which is what they call your offset. So we're gonna hit that, and I know that my offset is positive 600 kilohertz. The next thing you have to put in to hit this repeater is you need to put the direction. Now for this one, it is what they call positive. It's going to have a little plus. So you hit plus, hit OK. Now go down to memory and we're going to put this as number two. We hit OK. Now we're going to go back up here to CHMDF. Oh, right there, just 10, or hit that. And I want to put in the name. So we're gonna hit the name. Now we're gonna exit, okay? We're gonna exit one more time. We're gonna go back here, channel two, put it back into memory. Now I'm gonna hit menu again. I'm gonna go back to program channel. Now, when I go to do that, I have CH name. So now I can put the name, which for me is going two to- Two minutes later. F, two meter, F, R, R, L, and I hit, okay, let's go back. Let's go back one more. Now we see channel two comes up as 2M, meaning two meter, F, R, R, L, two meter, Fox River Radio League repeater. All right, so now that we got this programmed off the front panel for simplex, radio to radio, we also have it to go from the radio to a repeater. So now the next step is let's program this by Bluetooth. The scan code's right here. You got Android or Apple right there. Not the biggest fan of putting a Chinese company registering with them to put something on my device, which I have right here. So just so you guys understand what I'm kind of looking down at. And I'm gonna be recording this on the device as I talk to you. Something else I need to get. Hold on a second. <sighs> Go figure. Went ahead and downloaded the app. Radio on, downloaded the app, registered, got this all up and going. So now we're gonna go onto the radio. We're gonna go to menu. Menu. We are going to scroll down to wireless CPS. Hit okay. Off and on, we're going to hit on. We're on. Let me switch the app on to record. Okay, so in order to get this to connect, you also have to have your Bluetooth on, and then you have to select walkie-talkie. Then you have to select your model, which in this case, it's the 5R Mini. We'll go ahead and connect up. Now, the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna hit, once it's connected, it says program, and we're reading. All right, good. Channel one, two meter national calling, good. Two meter FRRL, that all looks good. We're gonna hit modify configuration, and we're gonna go to channel three. We're going to hit channel name. So we're gonna put 70 C M. N A T 70 me 70 centimeter, which is the 440 megahertz band national calling frequency, which is just 446.000. So we're gonna go down to this, erase that 446.000. Transmit frequency will then also be the same because we're just doing simplex 446.000. 
zero. Now let's scroll up and see if there's anything else. No, we're not using any CTC, SS, DCS. We'll leave it high, wide. Bandwidth, scan, add. That means it'll add it to the scanner. Signaling code. Um, yeah, I don't really know what that does. We'll just nothing. Yeah, we'll just do one. DTMF encoder, nope. Frequency hopping, nope. ID, nope. Is he lockout? Nope. So we're gonna hit next. Now we're on to channel four. For channel four, we're gonna put in a repeater frequency. So like we did on programming this from the front panel, we're gonna basically do the same thing for a repeater on this. We're gonna put in for another repeater that's pretty close by to here. And this one we're going to name W9ZGP. Our frequency is going to be, erase all that, 147.060. Now, this does have an offset and you actually have to put that in here. So we're gonna go down to that. We're gonna turn this on and the CTCSS code is 103.5 firm. Remember, you don't need this on receiving. You need this to transmit to open the repeater. You can talk to it through the frequency. The CTCSS code is kind of like the key that unlocks the door to the repeater so that you can talk on it. All right, don't need the DTMF encoder. We're not frequency hopping. Then we also have to put in the transmit frequency because now that's gonna be offset. And the offset is a positive 600 kilohertz. So if you guys remember when we did the front panel, we had to put that in as 0.6 megahertz. Basically, and this is a positive offset. So that means it adds that to the transmission frequency, which means that we have to change that on here to one oh wait i messed that up 147.660 let's just make sure that everything else is here okay so everything else looks pretty good now we go to channel five so now we have the UV5R Mini programmed by the front panel right off the radio using the keypad. We programmed it for both a simplex and we programmed it for a repeater. We also shown how to program it using the Bluetooth, again, simplex and to a repeater. So now for the next step, we're gonna show you how to program it using Chirp. Make sure that you download the latest version of Chirp. It looks like the older version does not have the Baofeng UV 5R Mini, and I tried to see if it worked with the Baofeng UV 5R, and it did not. So you will need to download the latest version of Chirp. You will also need to get a programming cable, and I will provide a link in the description for the one that I've been using. You will also need to get that to program it with Chirp. So let's move over to the computer. Okay, we are here at the PC. Now, I'm going to assume that you have already downloaded the correct Chirp file that I just talked about a little bit ago. We're going to go up here to radio. We're going to hit download from radio. And then we're going to plug in our cable. So after doing that, I'm going to go down here. I'm going to pull up device manager. I'm going to go down to ports, com, and LPT. And the one that I just plugged in came up as com5. So you will have to remember that. Let's try this again. Oh, there we go. COM5. So you're going to hit OK, and it's going to walk you the steps here. After we do all that, we are going to hit OK. And it's downloading the information. And there we go. So I'm going to program channel 5. This will be a simplex station. And I'm going to make this for APRS. The national calling frequency for APRS is 144.390. Now we're to the name. I'm just going to put APRS national. Don't have to worry about the tone. So we're going to go all the way over here. Make sure that we're on FM, high power. And really, that's about all we need to put for that. That's how easy it is to do simplex. So for channel six, let's do a repeater. So for this particular repeater, it's going to be 147. 33000. Okay, and then I'm going to call this the K9BAR. And I have K9BAR, two meter R for repeater. So we will need a tone for this particular one. It's 107.2. There we go. It is positive, so positive and it is 
0.0000 megahertz for the transmit frequency offset. Everything else looks good to go. It's pretty easy. Now let's upload this to the radio. So we go back up to radio. We go to upload radio. Okay, make sure this is all correct and hit okay. And follow the instructions again. A second or two and we're gonna hit okay. And now we're going cloning back to radio or uploading what we just put in back to the radio. Okay, let's see if it took. <laughs> Okay, so another neat little thing here that you could do with Chirp, we're gonna go back up to radio, we're gonna go down to query source, we're gonna go down to repeater book. And when that window comes up, just kind of go through this, you can put in your state. Now I do have a latitude and longitude, so let's put this in. Latitude, longitude, I put a distance in, it's 40 miles, Oh, 40, 40 kilometers, I'm sorry. And I just put open repeaters only. So let's see what this comes up with. Whoa. So the nice thing about this is if this makes it super easy if you just want to program in all the different repeaters in your area. There you go. Boom. Question comes up. What do I think of this uh, radio so far? Programming wise, that's pretty nice. Uh, the front panel programming just from the radio has come a long way. I heard that a lot of the Chinese radios are now pretty much all the same type of menu setup as this. So if that if that's the case, that's, that's a huge step forward because uh, they used to be a real pain. As I was putting on the longer, this is the antenna that came with the radios. As I was putting this on, the thing kind of didn't stay on there. That's all right, 17 bucks, what do you expect? The Bluetooth programming, again, that's easy. Not a big fan of putting Chinese apps on my stuff, but the phone that I was using is actually an old phone. It's not really even hooked up to anything anymore. So yeah, that worked out pretty good. The chirp programming for it piece of cake and if you use the query search man that's that's even easier especially you could just it just downloads all the repeaters in your area for you paste it right over and you're uploading it and you're you're good to go so so far i'm pretty impressed oh you know what we forgot to do one thing i would be selling you all short if i didn't give this a little test of some of the repeaters that were programmed in here. So let's see if we hit it. That repeater is about 15, uh, give or take. Next repeater, this one is further away. Okay, it's hitting it. Five, six. And this one is probably about the same distance. East of here. Oh, let's see if this hits it. Yep, okay. Well, it's at least hitting them, so that's a good thing. So far, yeah, it's okay. 17 bucks, not bad. Easy to program. And uh, as I stated earlier, this little guy may not make it. So make sure that you subscribe to my channel and stay tuned <laughs> because next comes the torture test. And uh, that's gonna be really hard for me, especially with my OCD and my slight autism because I normally take really good care of this stuff. So 73, everybody.